Sometimes I wonder if my mind really does run on ADHD. Sometimes I really feel like I do have that. Let's go to the shop. I want to do this before I go on to another stage. Oh, you brought me some more bolts. I got some more useful shit for you. Thanks, Auto. Really happy to know that. So, what do we have now? Energy save. Woo! With this item, you'll use less energy when firing weapons. We'll also solve global warming problem. Will it, though? I don't know about that, but sure, whatever you say. Damage absorber. When you take damage, your weapon energy will refill itself a little bit. Eh, not bad, I guess. Super armor. The damage you take from enemies will be reduced substantially. This is good if you take a lot of damage. It's basically your defense. It's a great recommended one to have. And you have auto recover, also super useful. Your life energy will slowly refill itself. Less haste, more speed, as the saying goes. I don't think that's the saying, but whatever you say, auto. High speed charge. Because I will let you charge the Mega Buster faster. That is useful. And beat. Me will bring a barrier for you. He'll absorb some of the damage you'll take. Very useful to have. You want to protect yourself in certain situations. And here are the other things. CD counter. This is a transceiver power. It will tell you how many CDs are left in any stage you're in. And CD finder. This will show you where any CDs might be buried so you can have Rush dig them up. So you want to be able to hunt down the CDs? You have this. I'll get this ahead of time, though. I don't know why I'm getting it, but I got it anyway. I'll go grind for bolts later. By the way, there... Oh, speaking of grinding for bolts, let's go show off this room. So welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Mega Man Base as Mega Man. This is your host, MJ406. And note all these portals we have in this room. Let me show you how this place works. You go to one of these teleporters. Um, uh, is it this one? Nope, wrong one. Basically, this is a great way for you to be able to test out your weapons, which I actually find to be pretty neat. And I don't have either of these two. God damn it. Okay, so the top two are the very last two. Got it. And let me show you the other ones. So this one. Test your remote mine. Oh, God. This reminds me of something from Mega Man X5. You don't know what I mean yet if you haven't seen it, but oh, boy. Basically, you want to try to use your weapon to destroy that. It allows you to collect this giant bolt, which is 100 bolts. Which, by the way, you need to break through all of these in order to get onto the last stage of the game. This is what you need all your special weapons for. Once you beat this, you go on to the very end of the game. But getting through all these, it lets you test out how your weapon works, and also lets you collect a lot of bolts. So, it's a great place to go to both get a lot of money for upgrades, and we'll just experiment with your weapons, like Magic Card here. So, yep. Yeah. I guess you can always ignore the bolt if you just want to destroy the obstacles, but why would you do that to yourself? Why would you ever do that? Here's a fun thing to take a blade. It actually has a bouncing effect. Well. Oh, I should probably do it this way. There we go. So, yep, take a blade can bounce off walls. You actually have to learn some extra effects of these, too. Like, I actually like that they have a thing for you to test out your weapons and learn some of their special effects. So, just being able to use your drill to split off so you can hit that one. Like, they show you the weapon works if you get it, and you actually get to test it out in this room. And get free money for doing so. Like, what's not to like about that? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, whether you think there's be a currency system to buy upgrades at all, I guess is completely subjective to your opinion of what you want in a Mega Man game, but... You know, at least they take advantage of the weapons and, you know, letting you actually be able to collect bolts and such. You know what, I should save yet, in case I screw up this episode somehow. Well, now I have a bunch more bolts. Wow, where'd you get all those bolts? You cheating fuck. I want these upgrades. Give me auto recover. Wow, that's the one you want? You want to heal me? That's so nice of you. Not recover you, asshole! You're so mean, Mega Man. Because I hate you, Auto. Get out of my life. Okay, come back later. Uh, Alright. Well, now we got that out of the way, let's go to Astro Man. This stage is gonna suck. Anyway, here's Astro Man. Oh, yeah, I should show you how the transceiver works now I bought all the upgrades for it. We well, have yep, Astro Man is back, just like Tegu Man, so let's get ready. Also, in this episode, I believe, at this point now, Mega Man 8 is finished, so I don't have to worry about spoiling anything. Mega Man 8 sucked. 
Also, auto, re auto recover will be useful, so I'll put that on now. Now let me go to Transceiver and talk with Roll. What the heck is up with this stage? I wonder what Astro Man was smoking! Oh my god! Yeah, me too, I guess. There better be... 12 CDs left here. Work hard to find them. She lets you know how many CDs are on the stage. Doesn't give you a hint where they are, but it gives you a count. So this is how you can find out how many there are. Better than the Bolt thing in Big Man 8, at least. And has to be can manipulate space. Magic might work well against them. She gives you a tip on how the boss fights and as gives you a little hint on their weakness. So yeah. She's very helpful for helping you figure out some boss weaknesses as well once you bought the uh, enemy analyzer. It's cheap, so, you know, first time of the game, enemy, enemy analyzer is not a bad way to go. Don't give you tips on dodging attacks, just tells you a little bit about how he fights and what would be good against him. Oh, God. How the hell do I get in there? I have one crazy idea. Now, I'm about to go through with it. Heh! Well. <laughs> I got it! It wasn't the smartest idea I had, but it worked. Wow, we've already been in this episode for about six minutes. God damn. Either I'm slow or getting all those bolts took longer than I thought it would. I hate this adult frog. Back off. Frog bot, no! Bad frog bot. Bad frog bot. Thank goodness for the energy balancer. And I forgot to jump. Well, probably good I did that then. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Oh, I love it when a plan works out. Oh, right. I happen to run out of lives. I was at the start of the stage, though, so, you know, rather lose it here than later. You know what? Maybe I learned to jump well. I won't have to worry about nearly dying every time I make a jump. Nothing there. Okay. Ow! I was supposed to get the CD finder, but I don't think I want it right now. Hit! <laughs> Damn it. Hang on. There we go. Each... Did I just recover? I thought I heard me pick up something for healing. Uh-oh. Damn it, I thought that grenade would have gotten him. You missed, you dumbass. Oh, God. Well, good luck to me on this. Aha! Got it! I think I cheated, but screw it. I'll take it. <laughs> but yep, now you see how you can count how many CDs are left in a stage. So, yep. I also want to over this room. You see there's lots of enemies. They may randomly pop out. So, yeah, be prepared for them. Also, in case you're wondering how the auto recover works. Funny, it actually works a lot like the uh, head part in Mega Man X3. You just have to stand still for a while. And if you do that, your health will recover. Oh, I see. It kind of like goes on its own over time. I guess it collectively adds up while you stand still. So that was what I heard. But yep, I recover is useful to have. It's more effective if you're standing still, though. Also, we have this. Hit the wrong button, and they'll shoot at you. Just jump out of the right order, and you can get it through. Oh, yeah, by the way. Wave Burner can get rid of um, a lot of those. Wow, sweet. Two CDs right in the same place. That's very useful. Oh, if only I can reach that wall. Oh, right, I can. See how useful that is. Also, this room sucks. You have a room where you have these floors trying to lift you into the spike ceiling. Whoa! I nearly jumped into it, too. That was nearly a mistake. One I wouldn't soon forget because I died. Hmm. I thought there was something in there, but I guess not. Oh, yeah! And disappearing blocks are at this stage. And they're pretty fast. So, yeah. Be prepared for them. Also... Ah, that's where it was. Okay. Yeah, another one hidden there. I think the CD finder would have let you find that, but even still, some of them are painting. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, see, these disappearing blocks are fast. I kind of hate them in this game, honestly. You kind of have to memorize it as you go, because... Look how fast those ones go! Good luck keeping up with that shit. Yeah, this is probably the biggest reason why I would not recommend this stage first. Because it is just mean as hell. Also, I killed myself. Uh-oh. Does that mean I have no lives left? Yep. Shit. That's how fast those freaking disappearing blocks go. It's really easy to die in this stage. So you gotta be moving at, like, full speed to keep up with these. It is a nightmare. Like, for real. Like, see, look at that shit. You gotta go fast to keep up with that. You gotta basically memorize it. That's why playing as another character is better for this. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot how that one ended. Okay. You want to kind of jump ahead of the game if you can help it. If you can remember the pacing of it all. Which, I don't remember. Because, why would I? I haven't memorized this game. What are you, nuts? And there's your proof. Let's just time warp back to that segment, shall we? Alright, I'm back. I made it without any problems at all. I picked up some bolts and I am happy. It's really all that happened. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Then again, I showed you all the freaking CDs I could find so far, so. Haha! -ha! Ah! Are you kidding me? I made it all the way up and I still failed. Ah! Damn it. Yeah, by the way, we'll kill this guy, you slide over him, and then do a charge shot behind you real quick. That way you can get rid of that asshole. But he's going to respawn if I fall again, so it's kind of not really worth it. Oh, there's a ladder there. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, looks like there's more of this room. Eh, never mind. Oh, God! No, not again! God damn it. Yeah, I got ACD up there, at least. I think there's another one, but I can't get it. Because Mega Man is a soft bitch in this game. <gasps> oh! Okay, good, good, good. I'm kind of glad I reeled back what I did. Oh, I gotta take the other path. So if you got one path of those blocks to go up to that room up there, which is a dead end. Ah, shit. Wasn't ready for that. The other path is the way forward, and it's the less painful way, and I jumped early again like an idiot. Hey, at least we got another CD, right? <laughs> That's useful now! Yeah, sure it is. Ow! You tell yourself that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, you can at least keep up with it. As long as you go full speed, you'll go a little ahead of its pace, which is good. Because I don't want to be exactly on its pace, because then if I'm just a little bit late, I'm screwed. There we go. See? That path's a little easier. Oh no, this is a mini boss. Nope, it's this. Oh, okay. That's actually a pretty easy pattern. Thank you for that. Which, by the way, sometimes you'll get a pattern that is basically the same switch three times in a row. Which is pretty funny with the first one. Like, the first one can be pathetically easy. It's kind of funny. Oh, can you please stop shooting that there? Oh, God damn it! Oh, I guess I just have to time my landing there. Whoa! I gotta stop nearly jumping to the spikes! It's like the third time I've nearly done that. Oh, yep, yeah, and in case you don't remember from what Roll said, magic card is the weakness. So, be prepared. Which reminds me, I'm gonna talk to her again just to see. There are a lot of odd traps and mechanisms on this world. Be careful! There appear to be hmm, five CDs left here. Work hard to find them. Five? God damn! That sucks. And yeah, she said the same thing about the boss. Five, huh? Alright, well, it's time for us to deal with Astro Man. 
What the hell? Three, two, one. It's showtime with Astro Man. I'm getting into movies, you see. Okay. I love movies. Do you? Not really. Not the way you do. Yeah, Astro Man kind of sucks in this fight. No, the copies he's created and they keep firing at you. Yeah, Astro Man's actually pretty confident in this fight. So, yeah. His little balls that orbit around him. Little moons, I guess you could call them. They protect him a lot better. So, yeah. You gotta try to shoot around them. He summons enemies. He freaking... He does everything. He's a dick. Also, am I my last life? Yes. Well, alright then. In that case... It's time for you to feel my wrath, Astro Man. Can I show you how good magic is? And he does not suffer from Spark Mandrel Syndrome like he does in Mega Man 8. So, this will be a harder fight. Like I said, this Mega Man game definitely is true to the core of what makes a hard Mega Man game. You can hurt him, he kind of gets stunned a bit. That's the most you can do, though. You can't, like, lock him. Because he has some invincibility. He is still significantly easier with the weakness, though. Now you're doing your easier attacks. You're making me look like an asshole. I could have beat you if you did these attacks, but no, you just had to be a dick. And yeah, when he's doing the summoning thing, you can't hurt him, so... Just make sure you're prepared. Just follow the cards, make sure you hit him and get around his little orbiters. I guess that's what I'll call him, the orbiters. I think we can know where he's going to teleport, though, because of his, um, uh... Yeah. His balls show up. You can also destroy his uh, little clone copies with the magic card. Take that, bitch! Whoo! Yeah, he's, he's tougher this time. That's for sure. I would not recommend this as your first robot master ever. No. At least Ground Man and Cold Man are simple. Astro Man has a lot to deal with, so I would not recommend him. Also, here's your new ability with Astro Man. Copy Vision. You can summon... Basically, a copy Mega Man to fire a bunch of shots for you. It's pretty beautiful, if you ask me. It actually works out quite well, if you ask me. I do like that ability a lot. Anyway, let's not save. So, with that, we can finally go to our last stage. Which, uh... Oh, boy. This last stage is kind of a nightmare, too. Dynamo Man! You can only get to him by beating Astro Man first. Copy Vision is the weakness. You don't need it for the stage, but, oh, this Robot Master is a nightmare as well. Second hardest only behind, uh, Burner Man, if you ask me. All right, hang on. There we go. Hang on. Pat! There we go. Look at me, knowing how to get CDs. Ow! I thought it would have been a good way to deal with them. I was wrong. I know they have these blocks back from, um, Mega Man 8 as well. Be careful which ones you destroy. You destroy one of the blue, destroy all the ones of the blue next to it. Destroy red, and yeah. Oh, there's a... There's energy over there. That's nice and all, but I don't need it. Hmm. You know, it seems like too much of a coincidence, but... I'll check anyway. I just can't shake the feeling off my mind. That. Well, that didn't work out. Well, I thought I'd check anyway. I didn't know for sure. Oh, it was just a way to get to the weapon energy. Okay. Yeah, raw starts will get annoying. Yeah, once we get that CD locator, we'll be better off. Yeah, I think after this episode ends, I'm going to grind for bolts so I can buy the rest of the stuff. Because, well... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to buy, and you need a lot of bolts for it. Also, this level has treadmills, which I fucking hate. I fucking hate these treadmills of the passion. Yeah, could you not, dude? Oh, really? He's protecting from the back while he's attacking? What a dick. Yeah, these treadmills get faster over time, by the way, if you're on them, so... Try and jump on them a little more so they don't get super fast, and then, uh, yeah. You can, always, you can always use the ice wall to try to make it a little better for yourself. But you can stay on the ice wall to try to 
reduce the speed of that thing. It's always appreciated. Oh god. It's also nice to know you can still fire a regular buster when you have the um Yeah, the ice wall out. Yeah, it's great. Asshole. You can do that to come around this way. It's just a massive shortcut through this place. But if you want to get the CDs, you don't want to do that. Oh, cool. I revealed all that. That's great. Yeah, I love that. You don't mind. I want to reveal this so I can get it for myself. Whoops. My bad. Looks like I went the wrong way. Oh, jeez. What have I done? Oh, I guess this is more of the way back. If you really need it for some reason. I wanted to get the CDs, damn it. So you don't mind me. I'm gonna get that CD. Because I'm a sucker for optical discs. I always love those things. I love collecting them so I can listen to the music from them in my car. Oh, God. That's a dick move right there. What? You don't like having a race against a bed of spikes to see if you can get the uh, CD before you... If you can get the CD and not hit the bed of spikes? I am very good at dodging spikes. I'm very good at just narrowly dodging them. I am incredible. Yes, pat yourself on the back more. Also, this mini-boss is a giant pain in the ass. So, this mini-boss. Yeah, these two things that shoot out a lot of, um... Balls at you. And they're kind of irritating. Basically, you want to try to shoot these down. You either want to shoot these down, or shoot the, um... Things that summon them up top in order to weaken this thing. Either way, you'll do damage by destroying the... Oh, and then you have this, too. You have this attack, which you gotta do basically frame-perfect jumps to avoid. Because, of course, you do. They do their tag-team laser attack. You gotta jump, like, the instant they get right under you so you can jump and avoid them. The timing of that is strict. And now we have this. My auto recover's still on, right? Oh, no, it's not. My bad. Oh, I'm on my last life, too. Well, that's unfortunate, because I'm going to lose it. Alright, Baton, for real. I'm gonna die to a Baton. Or, somehow not. But, yep. You have a dark room, you have to follow this light around to figure out where you're going. So, yes, be careful how you move around. I could stand still and try to heal, but I feel like that's a bitch way to go about it. Just be careful how you maneuver through these rooms. Just know where they show the spikes are, at the very least. Of course, it wouldn't be a great, it wouldn't be a Mega Man stage without spikes, now would it? So, yep. Just make sure you know where you're going, and just advance to the next room. Oh God. Okay, down there is safe. If this room is safer than the other one. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's how you get out of here. I was going to say, I thought you there was a hole you had to go down. You did not. Huh. Now I have to check this area, because... Without the CD fighter, I have no idea what I'm doing. Rush, dig up. Maybe I got that really difficult one without him, though. Yep. I had a feeling I remember. Some of them I do remember, but a lot of them I don't, so... You don't worry. I'm going to disappoint you guys time and time again with my stupidity. <laughs> so don't worry. Waste, wasted time will be had. If that wasn't obvious from that right there. Wasted time will be had. Ugh. I'm happy I do remember a lot of them, though. It's good to know that I do have a little bit of the game memorized in that regard. Besides, Mega Man's going to be the main one hunting CDs down. Because I will say this. While Basil we needed to get some of them, Mega Man's the one who needs most of them because of Rush Search. Like, I want to say like about 30 of them you have to find through Rush Search. It's a lot. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't mind it because of the reward, and it's completely optional, but, you know. At least some of them test your skills with having to get to them, so, you know. 
It kind of feels like a worthy challenge trying to get to some of them. So I don't absolutely hate it. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong thing! I'm not trying to shoot the platforms, I'm trying to shoot the enemies! Damn it! Oh well, I wasn't gonna reach that anyway. Ah! Quit trying to attack with your firewalls! Damn them. So security is really on point if they're sending firewalls at me of this magnitude. Oh, I guess that little platform is what was supposed to help me get up there. Yeah, excuse me guys, I don't have time for you. I just wish King would take a... I hate that King took a better page of frickin' Wily's book and actually has a lot of spike traps for me. How does he know so much about my weaknesses? Like, what the hell? We also still don't know who created King. We just know he's an asshole. That's all we know. Oh yeah, those goof traps, the ones these ones shoot out, don't actually hurt you, they stun you, though. Oh, okay. You know it's good for you, you'll try to kill these both not at the same time, so you're gonna spend time trying to shoot them. Because, well, we don't, then you gotta deal with this shit again. Alright, let's try it. Eh. Eh. Ah, I timed it early. Like I said, it's a giant pain in the ass, that move. So hopefully you don't have to deal with it. Hopefully you shoot them before you, they get the opportunity. If you can shoot them as soon as they summon, that's the best way to deal with it, but... If you don't know the timing, that mini boss sucks. Let me get through this room, please. Don't abandon me like everybody else, you stupid energy ball. All right. So as long as you memorize the rooms, you can get through this area rather quickly, but it's still kind of uncool, this place. There we go. We're good now. Bye. Oh, I wanted to kill him on my way down just to add some insult to injury. But yep, the checkpoint of the stage is right after that mini boss, so don't think you're safe further on. Would be nice, but that's just not how it works. Also, I hate this stage's mechanics. So, ready for one of the necessary uses of Ice Wall in this game? Or at least it feels like it. Yeah. That jump without Ice Wall is like nearly impossible. I was going to say, maybe we're not at that run yet. I know that does exist, though. It's probably a little later in the stage. Oh. Oh, you like that, by the way? Ah, they're so fast. Yeah, you like how that CD freaking shows up? Whoa! I didn't mean to move it. God damn it! Ah, oh, that's what I get for trying to go back for it. Careful, man. You want to save your lives for a freaking Dynamo Man. Don't be stupid and waste them all like this. I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I thought I was being smart. But I was doing the exact opposite of that. Ugh. Trying to get a jump on the competition is not going to help you, Mega Man. Not at all. Oh, almost jumped too early. There you go. Once you memorize that, that's not bad at all. Thank God I memorized it, because I needed to. I just wish the speed of these didn't get so fucking fast. So, yep. Just try to maintain your momentum on these treadmills without getting yourself killed. You can always use Ice Wall to try to reduce your time on them, but, well... Ha! Okay, yeah. It's the other jump. The fact that these get so fast for, like, no reason is aggravating. There we go. Get that thing! There we go. Alright. Yeah, you gotta be fast on that. I think you gotta go to the treadmills running quickly if you want to be able to get that CD. Don't bother. We'll get that another time. We'll do that another time. But you basically gotta get it off screen and then get it on screen to get it to fall onto you as you run over to it. It sucks. Alright, let's try one Buster run with Dynamo Man, I guess. So, Dynamo Man! He's not the hardest to dodge. 
but he's one of the hardest ones to beat for numerous reasons. A major one you'll see as this fight goes on. Ow. Asshole. Watch out for this attack, of course. Or that freaking Mega Man 7 Wily Capsule garbage. And those that you don't shoot down, he will strike lightning down. Kind of around you, like an asshole. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the part that sucks. So, yeah, you see this? Oh, I didn't mean to go to copy vision. No, I didn't want to go to copy vision. Yeah, basically, he will recharge his health after you damage him enough. He's a dick. And, well, that's that. Does that technically count? Because I never damaged him the copy vision. I just accidentally shot down his one thing. Yeah, he's not too hard to deal with, but it can be a long fight if you let him heal, which he can heal more than once. Just a heads up. He can do it more than once. If you don't interrupt him, he will fully heal. If you get rid of both the sides, he will stop healing, but he can heal more than once, so be wary of that. Also, now we got Lightning Bolt. That's supposed to be Lightning Bolt! God damn it! <laughs> Even the fan translations can't get it right! Well, anyway, why don't we go back and get the re last two of these I didn't get? Which, by the way, you can't regather the uh, ones you already got, obviously. Just jump with copy mission in the air to get this one. And, well, the last one should be obvious. It's a screen nuke. So, yep, just activate it, and you got this one in the bag. Now, Lightning Bolt! No, I wanted that! Hang on, hang on, let me go back and get that, please. Yeah, you can ignore these, by the way, if you want. I don't know why you would, but you can. You don't need to collect them to go forward to the game, but, you know... If you want to buy stuff, you should probably just get them. Just get them, you freaking crazy person. Ooh, I got a lot of bolts now. Let's buy the rest of the useful stuff. So, let's buy the rest of the stuff, and I guess I'll grind more bolts in the meantime, so we can buy everything else. Look at all this stuff I have for you. You're going to love it. Yeah, I'm sure I will, Otto. You don't mind? Give me super armor. Yeah, I'm going to equip this one. Yeah, I'm aware. High speed charge. The ability that to be loose. There's a screw loose. Uh-oh. Fucking dick. All right, so let me think. What else can I buy that I could use? Let me buy the CD finder, just so I have it. This part turned out pretty well. Of course it did. So there we go. You already have that. Yeah, I know. So which ones do I not have? Energy saver, damage absorber, beat. That's 800 right there. Oh, jeez. Auto charger, 900, 1,050. Now, the rest of these are one-time use items, so don't worry about these for now, but... Yep, there's a lot of stuff to buy. You know what? Maybe I'll worry about getting those later in what I'm going to call the post-game. Because I'm not going to worry about them for now, because I know it'll be a pain in the ass. Either way, I bought all the stuff I wanted, which is good. So anyway, once you get rid of all those cores in there, you basically get rid of the security so you can make your way to King. That means we're going to end this episode here. So... Come back next time, and we are going to deal with King! Finally, we go to the King Fortress, which I will say, this place sucks! <laughs> this is a pain in the ass! So hopefully you bought a lot of bolts to get all the abilities you wanted, and you know how the weapons work, because if you don't, you're going to have a very rough time in this place. Well, I don't even know how all the weapons work, but still. Prepare yourself, you're probably going to get fucked once or twice in this place, or in one of the stages cases, many times over. You're going to be running for your life!